So for example, the 3D animations. This is the complete car model as you see it outside. It's rendered in real time here in the car. Mm -hmm. You can interact with that, you press that. And for example, you choose to uh, yeah, manipulate the windows. Um, you can go back, swipe again. And what you see now is here, the driver's seat has a touch recognition. So if you put your hands there, you see where your finger is. And it is easy for you to interact with the knobs that you already have there. And what you have also seen is the gesture recognition. For example, here you see the touch inside. You can hold it with touching. And with a swipe, you close it again. And what you have expected here, what's very, very new, you can feel the buttons here. And then you can press that like a real button. And there's some pressure sensing here. Let's try that. Yeah, and you can also feel it with swiping with the finger. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah just swipe it over the surface like that. Yeah, over the over. This is just one button. Okay. Yeah, and then you can feel it, and you can easily op yeah. yeah, you can easily operate that with that. And what, another cool thing is that you've seen, for example, the the swiping. So for here for changing the car, but it's also a really new news case. For example, you have the audio. Let's play some nice songs, and you can sh you can change the songs. So you can drive easily, and then just with a uh, look of an eye on the screen, you can manipulate them. Yeah. That's all in-house developed. Sorry? I didn't understand it. So, and what you also see in the multi-touch slider, for example, you can change the volume, mm -hmm. but you also 